introduction to technology at level three lecture four. In our previous lecture, we have finished our unit one. So today we will start our unit two, that is understand the component of digital environment and the outline uh, of uh, is the type of hardware solution used. Outline types of software solution used, describe the type of network available. And in the end, we will uh, learn about the benefits of network infrastructure. So what is computer system? Read the slide. Definition. It's a calculation of entities, hardware, software, and, and life that are designed to receive, process, manage, and present information in meaningful format. Component of computer system. Computer hardware are physical part, intangible part intangible. of computer Intangible part of computer, uh, example, input device, output device, uh, uh, center processing unit, and storage device. Computer software, also known as program or application, they are classified into two classes, namely system software and application software. Lifeware is the computer user, also known as Brom Warner, the humanware. The human where the user combines the computer system to exclude on, in, on instruction. instructions. Okay. Uh, so uh, in this lecture, uh, we will learn about uh, what is computer, what are the softwares, what are the hardwares. Did you heard about the terms of hardware and the software before this? Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, so uh, it will be easy for you to understand today's lecture because uh, it is the same thing you have already learned or heard. So in at first they are defining what is computer and how they work. So uh, designed to receive, process, manage and present information in a meaningful format. So in first lecture, we have discussed about the data and information, the difference between the data and the information. Data was raw facts and figures and the information was the process data. Whenever we give the data to the computer system, they receive the data, process it, and manage it into and present the information in a meaningful format that is known as information. So there are three components of computer uh, computer system. One will be computer hardware uh, that is intangible. As we all know that the uh, hardware is a physical part of the computer that we can touch and feel. Now, there are uh, few different types of computer hardware that is input devices, output devices, central processing unit and storage devices. We will discuss these uh, types in our uh, lecture today. Uh, and the next one is computer software that are the programs and applications which are installed in the computer to help the human being and to make their tasks easier. So uh, can you give, um, give me the example of software which we are using? or which we used in our daily life. Code block thing. Yes, code block is also a computer software. So uh, there are different types of software according to our uh, usage or uh, we change the software. Uh, so uh, hardwares are divided into, okay, the, the last one was liveware. Liveware was the software like uh, that execute on instructions that you, you were talking about the uh, code block in which you give the instructions to the computer and according to that instruction computer gives you the output so that our liveware example so this is the external system of computers uh, you can see there are different types of computer hardware one will be speaker monitor cd uh, system unit printers microphones floppy disk keyboard, CDs, mouse. Now, these are different types of computer hardware which we used. 
so the hardware categories of functional part is computer hard uh, input devices output devices and storage devices so input devices are the devices through which we give the instructions to the computer and that is uh, classify according to the method that they use to enter the data so the first one was uh, will be keyboard what do you know about the keyboard what is the purpose of the keyboard in the computer system uh, to type and write things yes keyboard is similar to a typewriter and is the main input device of the computer it contains three types of key alphanumeric keys special keys and functional keys alphanumeric keys are used to type all the types of alphabets numbers and special symbols like dollar sign percentage sign at the rate and uh, capital letters special keys are shift key control key alt key home scroll and extra etc are used for some special functions function keys are what are the function keys on the keyboard did you know about that yeah, like f1 f2 yes these are the function keys and the purpose of these function keys that did not perform any uh, function alone uh, sorry alone they uh, are used with the combination of the special keys so f1 f2 and f3 are used to give special command depending upon the software used f5 reload a page of an internet browser a function of each and every key can be defined uh, well understood by the working on the pc when any key is pressed an electronic signal is produced the signal is detected by a keyboard encoder that send a binary code corresponding to the keyboard key pressed on the cpu there are many types of keyboard but one of one keyboard is most popular the one of one keyboard that we use in our daily life the normal type of keyboards okay that is our, uh, known as one of one keyboard how the keys are organized as we have discussed these uh, keys are divided into four different categories the typing keys special keys function keys and the cursor keys numeric pad is also available on some of the uh, keyboard or if that is not available on the side of the keyboard these numeric keys has been given on the top of the uh, keyboard under the function keys so the next one is pointing devices what are the pointing devices can you give me an example of any pointing device uh, like a mouse yes and point, point and uh, uh, did you ever use a trackball um, mouse or a joystick yes uh, uh, i think joystick 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 with uh, through which you play the game and uh, you can also give me the example like uh, uh, some phone has their electric electronic pen through uh, that electronic pen they give the instructions to their ipad or phones like some uh, samsung notes are the example of the pointing devices the basic device which we use on daily basis is the mouse mouse is a small device that used to point and select the item on the computer screen although mike common in uh, comes in many shape the typical mouse does look a bit like an actual mouse it's small and connected to the system unit by the long wire that resemble a tail and the connector which is either ps2 or usb some newer uh, mouse are wireless did you see the wireless mouse yes miss okay Uh, these are the mouse which uh, most of the people are using nowadays and mouse are usually has two buttons one is the primary button that is usually known as the left button and the secondary button that mouse also has a wheel between two buttons which allow you to scroll smoothly through the screen or information when you move the mouse with your hand a pointer on your screen moves in the same directions as you know when you want to select an item you point to the item and then click and then press and release the primary button pointing that uh, pointing and clicking with your mouse in many ways 
to interact with your computer. There are several type of mouse known as mechanical mouse, optical mouse and optical mechanical mouse. And some are the laser mouse. Most of the people are using laser mouse because that uh, looks attractive and they love to use this. Basic parts of mouse has three parts like uh, that two button on the top and the wheel between two button. And the next one is scanning devices. What are the scanning devices? Uh, like a printer and... Uh... Printer is a scanning device. Yeah, it can uh, scan and copy the paper also. Yes, some of the printer has this facility to scan the document as well. And okay. there's a scanner also, I forgot. The yes, there are scanners. Scanner used to capture a source, a source document and convert it into an electronic form. For example, flatbed and handheld scanners are the example of the scanner. Okay, uh, there are some other examples of scanners are like document readers that are directly from the source document and convey them to input in form of electronic signals. The type of uh, document reader are optical mark reader, OMR, and the barcode reader. Uh, the barcode reader is used to read the image and convert it into an electronic form and send these signals to the system so that uh, system matches the input. Did you saw the uh, barcode reader or you ever used this? Yes, yes. Yes, the optical character reader. Now you have seen that most of the countries are taking exams on their bubble sheets. You have to fill the bubble sheet. Uh, so uh, the people don't have to check the sheet. They only have to insert the sheet into the machine and the sheet recognize the answers of the question uh, and the bubble fill with the marker or the pen and then uh, automatically check the sheet and give the marks to the student. So uh, this is also uh, used nowadays. Uh, did you heard about the pen that uh, reads the Quran -e Pak? In the last yes, yes. few years, uh, there were, I was seeing the ad, uh, the person was uh, moving the pen on the Quran, words of Quran Epoch and the, uh, through the pen, uh, there was a voice coming out. Yes, that yes. is also the example of optical character reader. And uh, this is a type of scanning device, magnetic readers, uh, that readers that read the check that is usually used in the uh, banks. What are the output devices? Display screens. Output uh, devices. Uh, monitor. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, LCD TV and. Okay. And, and other LCD. examples are. Mobile screen. Yes. This is also the example of display screen. Okay. Display uh, screen uh, is a computer output surface and projecting mechanism that show the text and often graphic images to the computer user. Using the cathode ray tube, that is the oldest technology that we're using in the systems. Nowadays, we use LCD screens and the glass plasma screens and the image projection technology. How do I get our display settings? Whenever we use the screen, we have to set the dimensions of the screen as well. So there are different types of displays that are uh, on smartphone LCDs and Super AMOLED, TFT and IPS are the few other or less frequent found on the smartphones nowadays. And the most frequently found on mid on high range phones now is IPS LCDs. The next one is printing devices. You were talking about the printers. Yes, uh, it, it print a page. Yes. Yeah. We usually use a printer to print our documents. Uh, we can give the, the uh, instruction directly from the computer or uh, we can also insert the paper into the printer so that it uh, read the paper and uh, then uh, we can take out the prints. So uh, the example of printing devices are external. These are external hardwares and output devices that takes the electronic data stored on the computer and other devices and generate a hard copy. 
there are different types of printers available in the market and it depend upon us which type of uh, printer we need and it depends upon the usage of the printer because the uh, usage of home printer is less and the uh, printer used in offices and schools universities have to be in higher in uh, capacity because they have to print a lot of documents so uh, the printer are divided into uh, different categories and the computer transfer them to the medium such as paper or film it is connected to directly to the computer or indirectly via network a uh, printer are classified into impact printer in which the print medium is physically struck and non impact printer the most impact printer are dot matrix which have a number of pins on the print head that emerge from a character non impact printer fall into three main categories laser printers use a laser beam to attract toner to the area of the paper inject printer spray a jet liquid ink on and the thermal printer uses a liquid ink the thermal printer transfer wax based ink and use the heated pen to directly imprint an image on the specially treated paper important printer characteristics include resolutions speed and the color and the cache memory speed at which a file will be printed the next are storage devices why we need storage devices to, to store data and photos things yes we need storage devices because we have to store the data for the future use like usb cds and hard drives what are the usb it is a small device yeah. that store yeah. a storage yes usb is a small device that store data for your future use so the exact definition is usb flash drive can store important file and data backup carry favorite settings or application run diagnostic and troubleshoot computer problems or launch an os from the bootable usb the drives support the microsoft windows linux mac os different flavors of linux and many bios boot rooms there is a difference between the usb and the flash drive what is that difference did you ever heard because uh, we usually uh, uh, ask the usb and the flash drive has has the same features usb have more storage i think so mm -hmm. that is the difference between the flash drive and the uh, usb is that the flash drive is an ultra portable storage device with an integrated usb interface with the memory stick is portable flash memory storage and used in held hand device so the most of the time these both are the same but the flash drive is in larger in size and the usb is smaller in size the next one is cd did you ever use a cd to store the data no i think we watch a movie because uh, it has lower in capacity and nowadays it is not uh, most likely to be used because uh, most of the people use usb and flash drives to save the data and for larger amount of data they usually use a hard drives cds were used in older Uh, decades because uh, when there were no usb and the wireless system was not introduced the most of the people were used cds and floppy disks to store the data so what about the hard drive the hard drive is little bit it can store a lot of data storage movie yes and we can put into other device also change the hard drive yes a uh, hard disk is called the hard drive and hard drive magnetic storage medium for the computer hard disk are flatted uh, circular plates made of aluminum or glass and co uh, coated with a magnetic material hard disk for the personal computer can store terabytes of information most of the people uh, who want to uh, store data in larger amount they usually use the hard drives because these are easy to carry and it stored a, lo a lot of data 
most of the offices and the schools university stored their data on hard drive because they uh, externally attached with the system our system uh, mostly have a hard drive inside it but most of the people use the external hard drive to use the system because it is easy to carry the hard drive rather than the computer system or the laptop so uh, this slide is over in this uh, we have learned the uh, input devices output devices and the storage devices so these all are the hardware uh, in uh, comes in the hardware category next one is the backup method servers why we need a backup in any organization or in our daily life uh, there is some main information we because we can use that at future if we forget we can backup again yes of it little by mistake yes so the full backup method is uh, when we uh, talk about the backup method we usually use uh, two methods one is full backup and the second one is incremental backup read the full backup a full backup is the simplest form of backup which contain all of the folders and file that you selected to be black uh, backup backed up a full backup is also the easiest type of backup to store because it only given access to single backup file set yes and then the full backup are usually stored in a compressed Uh, format that required the software that created the backup to store the files full backup are commonly performed as the first backup followed by the subsequent different and incremental backup uh, since the full backup contain all the files and the folders that were selected for the job backup rather than just change the file you usually larger in size and thus require more storage capacity in virtual machines a full backup is a backup that in uh, either virtual machine these backup can relatively large in size so it is important to be aware of how much storage space is available on your storage your destination device and the second one is incremental backup what is the incremental backup read it incremental back Backup allowed for central storage space saving as they are the only backup files that have created or changed in the last full or intermittent backup. Okay, and the incremental backup are also faster, thus requiring much shorter backup window. Incremental backup are often used in conjunction with the full backup. A common backup strategy would be run. a full backup once a week and then to do a daily incremental backup on each of the subsequent day for example if you have to run a full backup on monday you could run incremental backup job tuesday through friday with the configuration your backup on tuesday would only contain new change and changed file that are made since the full backup on monday on wednesday an incremental backup would run again and on this time it would only backup new and change files in the incremental backup that run on tuesday this schedule would continue through the rest of the work we giving you one full backup and four incremental backup the cycle would start again the following weeks the biggest advantages of incremental backup are reduced backup window the smaller storage size requirement as it only stored since the last backup regardless of type when it come time to store incremental backup take longer as you uh, will first need to store your full backup and then each subsequent incremental backup in order to locate the exact file iteration you are looking for giving the nature of incremental backup you also tend to require more computing power due to the fact that have compare each source file and the last full backup and then each subsequent incremental backup in order to determine if there were any changes made to any of your files if you decided with the data backup backup approach you may wanted to consider rotating media devices so that you always use a secondary unconnected backup device that can be used to store from in case of viruses and disaster management
in short full backup uh, required a lot of space in our daily life to store the data and in incremental uh, backup we take the backup a full backup at once in a week and the incremental backup on daily basis to store the data in chunks so uh, it is secure to uh, take the incremental backup because in full, uh, full backup method it uh, has the chance to loss of data but in incremental data backup we usually take two backups uh, in a week so um, we have a, a surety of accuracy of data as well uh, read the next one what the server backup story device to choose now that you know what type of backup schedule you want to use you will need to study what uh, uh, server backup store and directions to select here are the few options Number one, external hard drive. Number two, NAS or SAN devices. Number three, uh, tape devices. Number four, USB media flash and thumb drive. Number five, network storage. So it depends upon the user or um, the owner that which um, device is uh, being used in their backup. So there are numerous server backup storage options to choose from, but ultimately the decision as to what data storage or destination you choose is up to you. We recommend selecting more than one storage device option or buying two of the storage devices of choice so that you can have the secondary backup location that is preferably stored offsite. Some NES devices such as Buffalo and Tears station offer built-in replication and multiple backup options for uh, optimum data protection. We recommend that NAS device on-site and secondary NAS storage stored on the off-site location, the NAS will replicate the backup on your secondary device. So these are the storage devices which you can use to store or take up the uh, backup in your organizations. What is next that are network devices so uh, before going to the network devices we have uh, to discuss the network what are the networks why we need the networks in our daily life do you uh, do you have any information related to networks we use network to do online work and online classes i think no this is not the network networks mean uh, communication of two devices through the wire or a wireless system, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever uh, we uh, use multiple devices to communicate with each other to share information, we usually create the network. The most common example of network is Bluetooth. Did you ever use the Bluetooth? Yes, miss. Yes. When you uh, turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and connect it with the uh, speakers, or anything at your home, you usually create a network. Okay, this is known as network. So uh, we are uh, we have to discuss the network devices in this topic, and this is important for your final assignment. So you have to hear this carefully. If you have any question regarding uh, the network device, you can ask. Okay, and this okay, is important. So the network devices or the network hardware or physical uh, devices that are required for communication and interaction between the hardware on the computer network. So uh, to create the network, we usually use the network devices and that is important part uh, for creating the network. The most common network devices are hubs, switches, routers, bridges, and gateways. That is uh, the complete details of the network devices. The first ones are hubs. Hubs are connect multiple computer networking device together. A hub is also act as the repeater in that amplifies the signals that uh, destroy after traveling a long distance over the connection ca connecting cable. A hub is the simplest and in the family of network connecting devices because it connect LAN component with identical protocols. So hub is simply uh, uh, you can ask it as uh, a connecting device which is used to connect multiple systems in a room to share the information did you ever visit the uh, computer lab in your 
school or any yes. organization okay uh, in these uh, organization these types of computer lab usually connected with the hub because uh, you have seen that uh, most of the computer are connected with a single cpu did you seen that uh, five, four to five monitor uh, has been connected with a single cpu most of the gamer usually know. use these types of uh, networks uh, they uh, connect their two uh, monitor screen with their single sy uh, system search yes, yes, yes. you can uh, search it as well uh, so it is uh, also uh, a networking device but it is not intelligent it um, mostly did not know what uh, from where the message is coming and where to where it has to send it so the next one is switch so it is switch is generally more intelligent role than hub the switch is the multi port device and improved network efficiency the switch maintain the limited routing information about modes uh, of internal network and that allow the connection to the system like hubs and routers so um, the switch is intelligent device and uh, it mostly knows uh, the message and uh, it uh, there is the address written on the message it knows where to send the message if there are five system connected in a single network uh, and system 1 want to send the message to system 3 so it directly send the uh, message to system 3 and the hub is not intelligent so it broadcast the message to all the devices so it is uh, usually the wastage of time for other devices because it become the network network condition routers what are routers did you ever heard about the routers yes yes it it give net wifi like wifi yes it usually used uh, to rectify the signals of the uh, internet Router help transmit packet to their destination by charting path through the sea of interconnected network devices using different network topologies. Router intelligent device, they stored information about the network and are connected to the uh, and are connected uh, to the system. So the router is usually used in our buildings to rectify the signals and the. And do you have uh, Wi-Fi at your home? There uh, will a modem came with it, with two antennas. You can also say this as a router because it rectifies the signals uh, which came from the antenna. Bridges. Bridges are the used to common connect two or more host and network segments together. The best role of bridge in the network architecture is storing and forwarding the frame from different segments. Uh, the bridge uh, used uh, bridge is used for same purpose it also create the network but it is used on the larger uh, parts uh, we uh, discuss these devices on our next topic that is types of network because to create the network we use these devices so uh, these devices are used to create the network uh, they are discussing about the bridge so bridge is used in uh, creating a large network because they are very intelligent and uh, talking about the gateways i was uh, saying this you don't have to memorize the gateway because it didn't uh, connect it to your outline okay yes. it will be difficult for you to memorize so skip it okay uh, these are the device network devices uh, as you can see yes. in this picture uh, the most popular devices are repeaters, hub switches, routers, and bridges. Hub and repeater usually work in the same way. They strengthen the signal of the network. So I was uh, saying this, uh, whenever we have to talk about the uh, software or all those things which we have discussed today are mostly related to the network. So um, these are the soft types of software which is used in offices or organizations to create the network. So these are the office based software known as MS Office Suite. I was asking you what was, uh, did you heard about the MS Office Suite? What are MS Office Suite? I think no. Um, MS Office Suite is MS Word, PowerPoint, MS Excel, MS Access. All these softwares are uh, came in MS Office Suite. 
you have used okay. these softwares on daily basis okay okay uh, can you give me the uh, example of office suit now what is office suit yes like uh, ms excel uh, powerpoint and uh, office office okay. uh ms office means ms word ms powerpoint ms excel ms access all these came in office suit office suit means the combination of software so we have a uh, different software which came in office suit these are used in offices to create the network means multiple people can work on the same file in uh, the same office okay so uh, there is an other example is by spock software crm did you heard about by spoke software no they are the customized software they typically develop for some specific organization and other users in such they are con uh, contrast with the use of software packages developed for the mass market such as commercial of the shelf software and existing software so the common difference between uh, the office based software and by uh, spoke Uh, is office use software is used on daily use most of the common people uh, use ms office but by spoke is specially designed for a single use uh, single person and the single organization which use the uh, software so there is the common difference crm crm means the software which is specifically designed for the single organization okay okay take out the pen and write a scenario you are hired as a network administrator you are hired as a net network administrator in a school you have to design a lab for the school you have to design a lab computer lab for the school which network device will you prefer done through which device you will create the network we have uh, read these five devices you have to select one device to create the network and you have to give the reason as well why you are selecting this device okay okay just give uh, state uh, write down the uh, two or three lines uh, name of the device and why you are uh, preferring this device in a network take 5 minutes okay done Yes, I think the router will be good because we can set all of them. Okay. With router, we can set everyone what you have to do. Okay, fine. Computer networks. At first, we have discussed about the computer. Uh, that was networking devices. Now that is computer network. How we are going to create the network? what will be the specification what were the need of the network the computer network is a cluster of computer over a shared communication path that work for the purpose of sharing resources from one computer to another provided by the located on network nodes some of the uses of computer networks are following communicating using email video instant messaging sharing devices such as printer and scanner shared file sharing software and operating programs on remote system allowing network users to easily access and maintain the information so uh, these are the needs of a computer network there that are the reason why we need a computer network uh, in our daily life so there are four types of uh, computer network one is personal area network local area network wide area network and uh, metropolitan area network by their name you can uh, guess uh, what are the network and why we why uh, these names are assessed this is personal area network read this uh, slide pan uh, pan is the most basic type of computer network this network is intended to be a single person this is communication between computer device is center only to individual workspace Pan of a network range of ten meters from per person to a device providing communication. Okay, uh, give me the example of this pan. You uh, can see the image. Yeah. There were signals. I have given example. you the example of pan. 
before. Like a single person is using two, three toys in the range of 10 centimeter. Yes. Uh, example of pan is USB, phone, tablet, computer, and PDS like Bluetooth. Bluetooth is an example of personal area network. So what are local area networks? Read the slide. Lane. Lane is the most uh, frequently used network. A lane is a router network that connect computers cut through a common communication part to contain within the limited area that is locally a lane in, in compass two mm -hmm. or more computer connected over a server. The two important technology involved in this network are internal and Wi-Fi. Ethernet Sample and Wi-Fi. Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Sample of LAN networking in home, school, library, laboratory, college, office, etc. Offices. Uh, we usually create the LAN network in uh, small areas. Like PAN is created at our home. Like we are uh, connected the device in uh, at our home, but in LAN, LAN is used in uh, the larger space, like homes, uh, a complete home, a school, a library, laboratory, and the college. Wide area network. This is the example of or the picture of LAN. You can see there is a single server which has been connected with the multiple computers. Okay, so uh, in a uh, home, school, and colleges, we use the LAN network. WAN. What is WAN? Wide area network. Reader. WAN is the type of computer network that connects the computer to our large uh, geographical distinct through a static communication part. It, it is not recently to be single location pattern. A standard over many locations when can be defined as a group of local area network that communicate with each other. The most common example of LAN is internet. Okay, there is a picture of LAN where you can see that multiple uh, networks are connected together. Okay, means multiple lanes are connected together. Our uh, network at home, school and college are connected to each other. Okay, this is known as WAN. In WAN, we, crea uh, we uh, create the network in which multiple buildings are connected together. Okay, metropolitan area network. A man, man is a larger than lane, but a smaller than WAN. This type of computer network that connect computers over a geographical distance through a city commuter part over a city, town, or metropolitan area. Example mm. of men are network in town, city, large city, large area within multiple building ETC. Okay, this is an example of where well, see the image and uh, describe it. Man is uh, connected to the uh, different different office, restaurant area, and college mm -hmm. and government building. Okay, fine. Read this slide. This is important. Benefit of using network infrastructure. When in infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure set up the correctly for your business, you enjoy increased speed, connectivity, that drive better performance from your employees. Invest a better network infrastructure. You get uh, the most uh, most out of employees. Since the majority of business uh, operation rely on functioning of your network or an unreliable network can severely affect uh, business operation. Uh, a secure network in minimize downtime and ensure the productivity remain as consecutive as possible, no, no matter what arises. Network infrastructure is one of the few uh, figures that people do not see to want to invest in until something goes very wrong. Invest is called network investment now, meaning saving on uh, production losses in future. Modern business networks are only as reliable as cable wall which they operate on. Okay, fine. What did you get from this slide? Uh, we have to invest in this infrastructure. If we don't, we can lose our things. Okay. Um, 
they are uh, explaining the infrastructure means the uh, structure we are creating in uh, create for creation of networks so we have learned about the landman and when uh, compute networking devices and the software used in networks so uh, they, they are telling us about why we need uh, network infrastructure because there if we didn't use or create any type of network it will uh, really waste the time of the people and the, uh, the loss of the data so in the age of technology you need to reliable on the network for both new clients acquisition and retaining current client communication between the business and your client is vital and the significant depend upon the network infrastructure your network infrastructure is the backbone of day to day operation because when uh, ever you have to create the network you have to store the data on the devices everything else in your business relies on the backbone being strong and reliable so that they can operate successfully if your network is not strong you cannot uh, run your business successfully when your infrastructure is set up correctly for your business you will enjoy increased speed and connectivity that drive the better uh, performance and uh, your employees invest in the better network infrastructure you will have to get the most of your employees since the majority of the business operation rely on the functioning of your network and an unreliable network can severely affect the business operation a secure network infrastructure minimize and downtime and ensure the productivity remain as consistent as possible no matter what arises network infrastructure is one of the few features that people do not seem to want to invest in until sometime goes very wrong investing in secure network infrastructure knows uh, means saving the potential losses modern business and network are on the as reliable as cabling in which they operate on remark group are advice yes. get and uh, contact with each other okay uh, they are um, saying in simple words they are saying this we need a computer network infrastructure to create the network if we didn't create any type of network in an organization it will become uh, impossible for us to succeed in nowadays so can you give me your opinion about network infrastructure if mm-hmm. we don't know in west we have lost many things yeah. okay of future if we invest we can have a uh, saving also in our business for the business okay fine so uh, there is the next slide network infrastructure is referred to hardware and uh, software that enable net- network connectivity and uh, communication between users device app the internet and more yes so if you have any question uh, regarding today's lecture you can simply ask or i will uh, review the lecture you have 2 minutes to uh, recall the lecture what we have learned today i have reviews about the previous lecture i was such on google he was no ever giving in part by part that last two question okay it is good or it is wrong you can tell uh, uh, previous do, do you, uh, are you asking me about your previous assignment yes and uh, that was quite good a good attempt but uh, you can do it more better overall that was good but um, you have to uh, be very careful about copying the data because don't copy the content try to uh, make it more and um, there is no question okay fine uh, if you have any question uh, you can ask with no miss i don't have any question okay fine okay write a question uh, you have two cities of which you have to create the network which type of network is used to connect the two cities and which device will you prefer uh, which type of network you have uh, we uh, you will use to create which type of network will you use to create means from lan man and when you have to select one okay and from the devices like r- r- routers and dan yes okay so this uh, i think we we can use wan with the device router for to city and man also okay fine device will be routed because we can send to message to everyone 
okay fine i'm uh, ending today's lecture if you have any question regarding today's lecture you can ask ma'am kenza she uh, will convey your message to me and there is no assignment for this week okay 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 allah